Hello Eurovision lovers and welcome to this video where I'll be asking the question Could Chanel be as big as Shakira? There are some interesting parallels to their careers and following on from Chanel's third place finish at Eurovision. She could be on course to become the next Spanish language artist to set the global pop charts on fire with her brand of catchy bilingual pop. Like Shakira, Chanel was born in Latin America, while Shakira was born in the northern city of Barranquilla, Colombia, Chanel was born on the Caribbean island of Cuba, moving to Catalonia whenever she was a young child. Shakira too lived in Catalonia for a period of time when her then partner was playing for Barcelona, so Chanel, like Shakira, has been exposed to Latin American influences which have no doubt shaped her rhythmic Spanglish sound. Shakira has managed the impossible in that she has successfully transitioned from the Spanish language to the English language pop market and is equally popular in both. When Shakira tours she can pack arenas from Los Angeles to London and tailors her approach and linguistics accordingly to great effect. If you are at a Shakira concert in LA, she will borrow heavily from her Spanish language back catalogue to entertain the audience with the odd English language song thrown in. Attend in London and this will be inverted. Shakira regularly releases Spanish and English language versions of the same song and is equally loyal to both audiences. This is a balancing act to ensure that she isn't turning her back on her native linguistic heritage while also ensuring that English language fans don't feel alienated either. And I think Shakira walks this tightrope well. There are many Spanish language artists who are mega stars in the USA and Latin America. Talia Into Cable, Ricardo Arjona or RBD to name but a few, but will for whatever reason never quite be able to achieve that level of global mega stardom of acts such as Gloria Estefan or Ricky Martin who have been able to achieve this. This isn't the question of talent necessarily, although these aforementioned artists certainly are, but skillfully navigating the cultural differences of nations to capture the musical tastes of the widest possible audience. Louis Fonzi had a real breakthrough when he teamed up with Justin Bieber to launch Despacito, which currently has 7.8 billion views and counting. I think sometimes it can come down to being in the right place at the right time and then doing everything that you can to capitalise on it. This is what Chanel must do right now if she is to build a career that is to be long lasting. Ricky Martin became known as a member of Menudo but used Live in La Vida Loca in 1999 to propel himself into the stratosphere and has remained there ever since. Jennifer Lopez used the twin vehicles of movies and music to ensure that she was never out of the public consciousness throughout the late 90s and early noughties and has gone on to build not just a successful but long lasting career as a result. It's all about capitalizing on success that has helped these Latin American artists fix themselves firmly into the global consciousness which has rewarded them with album and concert tour sales. Chanel has been fortunate enough to build herself a solid platform with the Eurovision Song Contest. Now, however, it will be up to her to ensure that she uses this as a springboard to launch herself even further. Chanel clearly has transcontinental appeal and can certainly hold her own when giving interviews in both Spanish and English. Chanel is also closely aligned with choreographer Supremo Kyle Hanagami who has worked with some of the biggest names in show business including Jennifer Lopez and is well placed to use his influential network to get Chanel in front of the right people. Chanel has made a savvy move with her follow-up single Toke, like Shakira who also recorded a World Cup song back in 2010, Chanel has accepted a high profile assignment that is going to continue to have people associate her with a global brand, this time the World Cup as opposed to the Eurovision Song Contest, which as we know is much better. 
The song combines a contemporary reggaeton sound with simple yet catchy lyrics. The production values of the videos are comparable to what you'd expect from Colombian songstress Shakira and it's clear that Chanel is very much in the driving seat when it comes to making these interesting creative choices. Shakira has informed us before that her hips don't lie and Shakira has created visually interesting performances using her body as an instrument. The way that Shakira dances is both striking and visually entertaining. Chanel too is a talented dancer who has employed high octane skillfully performed choreography to add not just visual energy but a memorable performance. Chanel, like Shakira, is clearly very hardworking and is pouring everything that she has into her creative endeavours to ensure that the Eurovision is not just a flash in the pan, but a starting point from which the only way is up. Back in 2010, a 19-year-old Chanel danced with Shakira at the MTV Europe Music Awards, so maybe it was written in the stars that Chanel too would go on to enjoy this level of stardom. With over millions of views across YouTube and having one of the most streamed Eurovision songs on Spotify, Chanel couldn't have a better debut single and launch into the music world. I think that Chanel has only just tapped the surface of what she is capable of creatively and it will be interesting to see how she develops and builds on a success that is well earned and she herself is rightfully enjoying. I think we need more of this Spanish Latin American representation in the media. Sofia Fergara, Salma Hayek and Penelope Cruz as well as Shakira is an inspiration to millions of men and women around the world and are an important part of the global conversation of how we view Hispanic women. Chanel, like these women, is an important voice who I have no doubt will inspire and entertain in equal measure as she goes on to carve out a successful career in the often challenging world of show business. The Eurovision is all the better for acts like her and I hope she inspires future generations of young Latino women to take to the stage to sing for their countries. We as fans are surely all the better for it. So Eurovision lovers, that's what I think about the potential for Chanel to be as big as Shakira. But I'd love to know what you think. Do you think the Eurovision can be a platform for future stars to hone their craft? Do you think that Chanel can go on to enjoy the kind of success that the likes of Jennifer Lopez and Shakira have? I'd love to know what you think. Please let me know in the comments below and I look forward to reading and replying to those comments. Hope you enjoyed that, but for now, you take care, and I'll see you in the next video.